Rebecca, you look like Miss Frizzle transitioned to Dobby the Elf and then joined Hogwarts improv team. Instead of saying yes and, the audience are saying, please, no. And you look like Willy Wonka transitioned into bankruptcy. <laughs> Alan looks like the reason we sent 39 cents to Africa. <laughs> Yeah, nah, I, this battle was wild for me because I closed my eyes and Melvin, you sound like a wife. And Liz. <laughs> Liz sound like Melvin. I'm like, what the? Uh, she majored in film at Columbia. And back in 2006, she actually went mega viral. I don't know if you caught it. It was uh, her and her friend sharing a cup. Uh, <laughs> Why y'all got these? Why y'all got these white people? Have y'all up here fighting each other? Yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> do this. All the African joke. The pussy through the teeth, though. That one got me. I, that, that, he, he had that in his back pocket. I have to give you for that. Cause I looked at you and I was like, yeah, he do. <laughs> I did bring up our opening battle, you guys. They are both uh, regular roasters. They're fucking killers. Please give it up for Gabe Alviso and Ruben Romero. <laughs> All right, hello boys. Who's going first? I'll go first. Okay, Gabe's going first, you guys. For those of you who have been here, we know the drill. For those of you who have not, count down with me. It is a three, two, one, roast! Yo, Ruben looks like if the tamale man fucked the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> Every time I look at Ruben, I'm like, dude, it is so cool that Urban Outfitters started hiring hot dog vendors. <laughs> You skinny fuck, you need a hot dog and a fucking tamale, way. Let me, your ass got the body of a pre-op trans named Gabriela. Ruben used to beat his ex-girlfriend, uh, but it's okay, she was a piñata, so. <laughs> God damn. Oh uh, yeah, no, hey, hey, Gabe, for real though, you look like that one Tony Hawk pro skater player that no one chose, bro. <laughs> You look like you would break a skateboard. <laughs> Dude, uh, this, uh, this next joke is actually, a, it's a little bit of a stretch. Um, you know, stretch the thing that Ruben has trouble doing. <laughs> but uh, Ruben Ramirez is, uh, Ramirez is his dad's last name and Ruben is what he just scarfed down before getting on stage. <laughs> I taste better than a Ruben, fuck you. <laughs> huh. Nah, man, hey, Frodo, Gabe, I'll be honest, man, with all the political shit going on, uh, it, it's crazy because Trump was right, because Gabe actually looks like one of those Mexican rapists. <laughs> Send them all back. Dude, <laughs> when... <laughs> yeah, whenever elephants feel awkward, they say, we need to address the Reuben in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe reminds me of Eddie from Ed Ned and Eddie because this motherfucker is short as shit and he'll do anything for a quarter to get a ball in his mouth. <laughs> well, look, I'm not saying Ruben is gay, but he will put anything that's hot dog shaped in his mouth. So. Uh, Ruben acts like he's a gangster, but the only time he's been shot, it was with insulin. <laughs> Gabe is a multi-talented artist. Uh, he actually just got into risque photography, which makes me very happy for him because now women will willingly get naked in front of him. <laughs> Dude, you swim with your shirt on, so. <laughs> the way you got here, you had to swim here, Doug. <laughs> Dude, you would sink for sure. <laughs> Matter of fact, your ass look too gay because you'll probably touch the fucking mud and be like, ooh, that's nasty. Yo, this battle would be neck to neck if Ruben had one. <laughs> and, if they, and if they had height restrictions, I wouldn't have an opponent. Uh, are we on, where are we on? Oh no, what? this one's super one good, dude. This one's so All good. All right, let's do, okay, one more. Ruben oh. is fat. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Hell yeah. Nah, dude, I, dude, tons of people would say that Ruben has a good heart. 
None of them are doctors. Yeah. Ruben looks like he shops at a Cricket Wireless for his clothes. <laughs> you look like you stand outside of Cricket Wireless, Wireless, bro. Fuck you. Uh, no. Gabe, Gabe is actually a graffiti artist from California, which just means that he's an outspoken gay cholo that didn't get his ass beat by his parents for writing on the wall. <laughs> Uh, speaking of writing, uh, Ruben is bilingual. His first language is Spanish, and his second language is the Taco Bell menu. <laughs> <laughs> this is way past seven. I was going to say, what about you guys? Were, uh, it's done. <laughs> yeah? Uh. You got any left? All right. All right. Give it up for these two who wore the same exact outfits and... <laughs> You guys were like doing the bachata up here. What the fuck? You guys were floating around? Bro, I'm so mad he didn't mention my Rikishi shirt, bro. Like, this is the reason I wore it. Fuck, bro. No, no, no. I, I thought it was just no. a photo of him on his shirt. No idea. Uh. Oh my god. Good lord, we got to turn to the panel. Let's hear. Let's hear it from. Uh, who's got the James? Oh, you Ian? You want to go first? You can go ahead. Yeah. Is uh, Ru Ruben and Gabe? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, was really funny. Y'all know each other? Because y'all was coming at each other pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. no, okay, yeah. 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 look like, y'all look like a 30-day trial before and after Olympic photo. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, hey, just 30 from, days. You before he gets pussy, after he starts getting pussy. You feel me? I look like I get Ozempic in the back of a Hot Topic. <laughs> I thought y'all was both super, super funny. Uh, I, if I had to pick one, I thought y'all both have uh, like nice digs. I'll go with Ruben though. All right, one for Ruben. Chris Greco, let's hear from you. Man, that was awesome. Ruben, if you exhaled, you would have Gabe. Um, <laughs> I thought it was really good. Um, you know, neck to no neck, pretty great. Uh, Gabe, I think you edged it out with that heart joke for me. That heart joke rocks, so my vote goes to Gabe. All right, one for Gabe. There we go. This is the hardest I've seen Ruben crush since that horrible chihuahua sitting accident. So this is, this, this is nice. We have Ole versus Frito Lace. What are we talking about, folks? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to Ruben on this one. He had a few that just got me. Good for Ruben. Bob King. All right, I'm gonna make this quick because uh, the orders are piling up in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> Dude, y'all are like if Beavis and Bud had worked landscaping. This is wild. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna take my moment. All right. Uh, no, this was a this was a this was a strong strong battle, but uh, I gotta give it to Ruben. Fifty-one forty-nine. There you okay. go. Okay. Shit. Shit. James. Great battle. This looks like a Mexican battling the wall. <laughs> Oh, man. Gabe, you look like Jesus if he worked at GameStop. Uh, <laughs> wait, who had... Uh, I didn't write down. Who had the insulin joke? Oh, yeah, you got... I give it to you, then. That was great. Gabe is our winner, everybody! Oh, wait, what? Really? She don't know how to count, dog. That was really well with the fuck. One, two, three, two. Yeah, Ruben. Oh, my bad. Ruben. Come on, Sam. <laughs> Sorry, Ruben. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. <laughs> yep. Women can't count. Uh, <laughs> what's a girl to do? <laughs> we ready for the next battle, you guys? We want more? Make some noise. It's Alan Ford and Seth Oh, we flipped for it in the back. Yeah, we did. We flipped for it. Last flipping I'm doing. All right, so Seth's going first. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one, roast! Alan is built like the man's restroom sign. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy because I swear I saw you get electrocuted in the green mile, didn't I? <laughs> Alan is the only dude I know for sure that descended from a gerbil. <laughs> 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 
Say it has the body of a WNBA power forward. <laughs> pass it on, pass it on. <laughs> Allen is built like a shell is Ninja Turtle. Oh. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good one. I give you a good one, that's a good one. Sad has skinny legs and a wide body, which means he takes Ozempic up the ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alan looked like one of them roaches from Man in Black, the Mexican ones. Plaza! <laughs> Look at that. Sad lactates Hennessy. <laughs> Alan looks like the reason we send 39 cents to Africa. <laughs> Calm the fuck down, brother, all right? All right? <laughs> Sid has two daughters that look like him, the first woman with deadbeat dad face. How can I be present if I'm a deadbeat dad, you dumbass? I don't know, nigga, you want to go get the milk? I do want to appreciate Alan. I appreciate Alan from taking time out of his day from hunting water buffalo with a blow dart. <laughs> Two African jokes. Yeah, I'm still going. <laughs> very Trump of you, that's very nice. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Fuck you, man, how's it going? How's it going? I need <laughs> I told you what it was, motherfucker. Come on. I need your help on this. Say it is so fat. How fat is, is he? He masturbates the Master Chef. <laughs> Wait, my bad. I read that wrong. Master Chef Junior. Hey, nope, nope, nope. Oh. <laughs> Alan has three comedy albums out on YouTube. And, um, excuse me. He broke a record. He's the first nigga to owe YouTube for putting that trash ass content online. <laughs> Coming from a nigga dressed like Pepto Bismol. That's <laughs> chased with Crown Royal. <laughs> you got an eighth grade student body with a 40 nigga old face. <laughs> You're a grown man with a list and wear, gra and wear a graphic t shirt. You eat pussy through your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. <laughs> That's funny, that's funny. <laughs> Said wife calls him a big back bitch during sets. <laughs> and you ain't getting pussy, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> he says he's sleeping on his couch right now. All right, All right it got personal. That was weird. Yeah, yeah. That was weird. Are we now. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. We're, we're done. We're done. You guys are good. Right. <laughs> And African jokes, man. That was so racist, you guys. That was crazy. You guys look like you would try to date me to piss off your baby mamas. <laughs> that was racist. <laughs> and right. And right. Accurate. Yeah. But... <laughs> I feel like I'm impregnated with making eye contact with you, Seth. That's great. <laughs> Oh my God! All right, Ian, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Y'all, y'all was both really, really funny. Why, why y'all got these? Why y'all got these white people have y'all up here fighting each other? Yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> I'm do this. All the African joke, the pussy through the teeth, though. That one got me. I, that, that, he, he had that in his back pocket. I have to give you that because I looked at you and I was like, yeah, he do. <laughs> <laughs> you really painted a picture on that one. All right, <laughs> All right so one for said, yeah. one for said. Here we go, Chris Greco. Oh, dude, yeah, dude, that was the last battle, but black. <laughs> Very cool, cool stuff. The only knock I said, I mean, you were killing, you were doing great. The only knock I'll give you is that in the green room, I told everybody no phones. That's the rule. But you were, it's okay. You were late because you like to defy stereotypes, but. <laughs> 
couldn't couldn't find no parking. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Listen, I mean, that was such an awesome battle. You guys are so funny. I think I think said edged it out at the end, but great, great work. That was awesome. Two for son, Matthew Mitchell. Awesome. Here, let me get names straight. So this one's Alan Ford. And then that one's built like a Cadillac Escalade. So that's the... Uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to give it to Sad. That pussy teeth joke is fantastic, man. Sad is our winner, but let's hear from Bob Keen. All right, I, I, I haven't heard an argument like this since a cookout where they ran out of Hennessy. Uh, <laughs> God damn, Bob! God damn, Bob! I thought I could with the track jacket. I'm sorry. Uh, guys, this was a close one. Uh, Alan, you were ahead uh, going in, but man, said that... Uh, he Eating, pe- eating pussy through teeth, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fantastic. Great shot, but uh, I'm giving it to Sed. Yeah, Sed. All right, James, final Shit. thoughts. You're so big, Sed. You're a big man. You look like O.J. Simpson fucked Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Alan... I feel like Alan's mad at Sed because he keeps stealing all the food donated to him. <laughs> It was good, but um, I'm going to give it to the black comic. That's it. Say boys are winners! Good job, Alan. Good job, Seth. You guys. That was a fun one. Holy hell. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Let's bring up our next battlers, you guys. It's Zoe Dotson and Sam. going first I'll, I'll go first all right sam's going first all right you guys you got to get with me three two one roll uh zoe works at aldi she's the uh, she's the lady who walks around the parking lot and uh gathers up all the grocery carts left in the parking lot and it's a i'm jealous man i mean not not everyone gets to work from home <laughs> I hope you go missing. I hope you go missing. Um, (laughs) Sam uh, is 20, but he looks divorced, obviously. (laughs) And he's not, he's not. He's not divorced. Sam, he kills it uh, in the ladies' department. Uh, J.C. Penney, he recently... (laughs) I'm almost positive he killed a lady at J.C. (laughs) Penney. Cops are on their way. Uh, Zoe smells the way she eats graham crackers. uh, A lot. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay. Sam, uh, Sam looks like if Justin Bieber had a baby with George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a good personality. I, I think... Sam's a nice guy. I really want to be friends with him, but I just, honestly, I'm 99% positive that he is Drake Bell disguised (laughs) as a regular person. (laughs) And I just feel kind of weird about him. Uh, Zoe uh, Zoe is a cat named Whiskey, which which is a cute name for a cat, man, but isn't it a little odd to name a cat after the thing that killed your dog? <laughs> Whiskey didn't kill my dog, it killed my father. <laughs> <laughs> but good burn, I guess. <laughs> Sam is a, he's an Italian American, I'm guessing, and he. (laughs) And he's an immigrant, kind of. He immigrationed here uh, from Boston. (laughs) Uh, Sam's from Boston, and that's why when he talks, he always sounds like he just got punched really hard. (laughs) I, uh, 
I really like uh, I really like Zoe's voice. Zoe has a very cool cadence, but it's uh, it's kind of tragic how it happened. She was uh, she was talking her way out of a parking ticket and got hit in the head really hard. Uh, all right. <laughs> Last joke. <laughs> I'm following you on Instagram after this. <laughs> oh my God, my phone is ringing. Sorry, I have to take this. Um, hello. Yeah. Oh my God, I'll I'll tell him. Thanks. I love you too. Um, that was your mom. She st she said you were an accident. <laughs> was that real? This so famous. I uh. Zoe, uh, Zoe's mom used to be addicted to crack. Uh, <laughs> Zoe's mom, Donna, used to be addicted to crack. If you want to know what Zoe looks like, just, uh, or, or, sorry, if you want to know what Donna looks like, uh, just imagine Zoe. What's your mom's name? Honey? Pasta Rigatoni, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I thought it was a real question. That's what I mean. Sam just graduated college. Give it up for him. He just graduated college. I'm really proud of him. Uh, he majored in spaghetti and he minored in meatballs. <laughs> tell you piece of shit. All right, enough out of you guys. All right. That's it. That's the rough. <laughs> oh my God. Why are you guys so awkward up here? like you'd hug each other like this. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was a lot for you, I'm sure. Uh, sorry. <laughs> My God. But give it up. It's your first time battling? Was this your first? You give it up for him. This is his first battle. No, he's done it before, but she's still new in the game, so please give it up for the both of them, you guys. More importantly, Chris Griego, what are we thinking? Yeah, I mean, Sam, I was very impressed. I mean, but real quick, if you're here, who's trying to assassinate President Donald Trump? <laughs> Former president, I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Now, um, booga, 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 booga. Okay, yes, Sam. Good work. This is your first battle. Very good work. You t you did look like you needed Xanax, though. <laughs> and uh, Zoe, you looked like a bar of Xanax. So, pretty good. Um, no, I mean, I'm a big fan of both of your work. I, I like what you do. Zoe, I always love seeing you on those Mystic Girl posters everywhere. But um, you, you guys had a great battle. Uh, Zoe, you won. Good job. All right, one for Zoe. Give it up for her. Matthew Mitchell. And Sam, good job not trying to kiss Zoe the whole time. Good job, buddy. This was like Scott Pilgrim versus a public boner, but I, uh, <laughs> uh, you had some really good jokes at the end, but I gotta give it to Zoe. She has some great stuff. Super Zoe. Ian, let's hear from you. Um, I thought y'all kind of, I thought it kind of flipped, like Zoe started off really, really strong, and then in the end it kind of heated off, and you started off a little weak, and then at the end it kind of picked up. But I think the weird shit y'all do is, is funny. I don't, <laughs> I, I think it's really funny. Uh, I picked Zoe. I don't have any jokes, because I, I feel bad for y'all. <laughs> but, but I thought it was funny. I think it's good. Zoe's our winner, but Bob, let's hear from you before we wrap it up. It was kind of wild watching this. Uh, it's like Trailer Park Fiona Apple <laughs> versus the guy that got her pregnant at a Denny's. So that's <laughs> different. Uh, but no, no, a uh, strong battle, even though I don't get any of your references because I'm old. But uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to give it to Zoe. Zoe made it. All right. And James Pontillo. Great, great. You were good. I thought the, the girl was very funny. Uh, Zoe. <laughs> Zoe, you were good, too. Uh, <laughs> This looks like Twilight if it was produced by Dan Schneider. <laughs> oh. uh, what else? Zoe, you look like you do artwork with your period blood. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, Sam, you look like you drink period blood for the iron. Uh, <laughs> Wait, who's ahead? Zoe won? All right, I give it to her then. <laughs> All right, Zoe is our winner. Congratulations, Zoe. You two get home.
home safe, okay? All right. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a battle. Give it up one more time for them, you guys. That was fun. <laughs> All right, we ready for our next one? We only got a few left. Let's make some noise. It's Queen James and Rebecca Jeffers. Hello, hello. Welcome, you two. Who is going first? Uh, Rebecca can. Rebecca I can. Yes, she nice. can and she will. All right. Three, two, you, no, uh-uh, no, uh-uh. All of us, we know what to do now. It is three, two, one, roast! Quinn looks like a child's first drawing of a person. <laughs> Let's hear it for Gollum Barbie. No, Rebecca, you sound like you would have a peanut allergy. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I mean penis allergy. Lesbian. Yeah, yeah, Quinn is the actual proud member of the LGBT community. Round of uh, applause yes. for that. Force, Honestly, force. that's not fair. That community has been through enough hardship. Now they have to put up with Discount Cat in the Hat. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Speaking of, speaking of trans things, Rebecca, you look like Miss Frizzle transitioned to Dobby the Elf and then joined Hogwarts Improv Team. Uh, instead of saying yes and, the audience are saying, please, no. And you look like Willy Wonka transitioned into bankruptcy. <laughs> Rebecca, you look like the forgotten Keebler elf because no one wants to eat your cookies. Wow. Um, I think this is a good time to raise awareness that trans people are at higher risk of suicide because most of them have had to date Quinn. It's important. <laughs> Rebecca, I love you. Um, you look like if Anne Frank was a theater kid. <laughs> and then instead of hiding in the attic, she hid in the closet. Oh, we want to talk about Anne Frank. We want to talk about Anne Frank when we got Anne Stank right here. Uh, Anne Stank, also Anne Skank. <laughs> um, yeah. A healthy so sex many, life is nothing to be ashamed of. So many people died in the Holocaust, and this is the Jew that we kept? <laughs> <laughs> this smelly slut who couldn't get through theater school. <laughs> wow. That's joke. Bye. 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 Look, I know you're all looking at us thinking, God, these two autistic kids bullying each other. It's awful, it's despicable. The only difference is, you know, I actually am autistic. Rebecca just chooses to dress, sound, and look like that. <laughs> okay, you two, give it up for them. Oh my God. Better than last time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is what happens when Second City sneaks its way into Zany's. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, she was just there. <laughs> you live in the basement of it or something. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need to... I'm a little worried for you to hear from the boys over here. Um, so am I. Ian, you look ready. What, can, what are we thinking? Nah, I mean, this was, this was borderline a hate crime. <laughs> Rebecca, I mean, she, you, you were on point with everything. Uh, no pun intended. Your transitions was great. Everything, <laughs> everything, all your jokes are dead on. I, I, I gotta give it to Rebecca on that one. Rebecca, one for Rebecca. Yeah. <laughs> Chris. Oh, this is like a, a girl going through puberty, getting in an argument with her Polly Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a deep cut. I had a sister. Also, I played with Polly Pockets. Also, I'm gay. Don't get mad at me. But uh, this is uh, great. Uh, Rebecca, your first time doing a roast battle? Yes. Holy shit, dude. That was good stuff. When we allow the improv kids to be hateful, they'll bring it. Woo! 
Great work, uh, Quinn. Obviously, I've seen you do it before. You're very funny, but uh, Rebecca, you ran away with this one. So you get the vote. Good job. Maddie Mitch. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much for leaving your ukuleles at home. This was fantastic. Uh, I'll be honest. I actually thought they weren't very funny. And when I say that, I do just mean Quinn. Uh, <laughs> I, I got to give it to Rebecca on this one. Rebecca's our winner. Make some noise for Rebecca. All right, Bobby Keane. Oh, uh, wasn't that some hurtful theater kid nonsense? Holy shit. You guys were fighting over a pronoun. Holy shit. That being said, Rebecca, that was a fucking bloodbath. Give it to Rebecca. Fuck yeah, Rebecca. Final thoughts from Jane. Oh, great job. Quinn, you look like you're transitioning from a woman to a high school math textbook. <laughs> Um, Rebecca, you look like the ghost of a girl who died crossing the street to avoid a black guy. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know, it was a great pre and post op Hermione Granger battle. Uh, uh, I, my vote keeps not mattering because it's always so up in a. Yeah, we'll change it up. I'm going to vote for Quinn just because I'm an ally. <laughs> All right, we got two more battles left. I'm gonna bring them up. Please start clapping now. It's Melvin Stewart and Lance Becker! Come on to the stage, you two. That's right, get on up here. Welcome. Welcome back. Who's starting us off? Yeah, I'll start it off. Sorry, those two autistic kids were slowing us down. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You said that shit. Give me some. Let's do it. Here. You want to do it? You want to lead it? Ready, everybody? No, come on. Three, two, one. Rose. Neil deGrasse Tyson, with all the support of NASA, could not measure the distance between Liz's right titty and her left titty. <laughs> Melvin is just mad because he takes his reparations at McDonald's coupons. <laughs> what is it? No, no. Colonize my joke and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Liz is just mad because there's a midget hiding underneath her dress, and we can all tell. Get the fuck out of here. You look like Santa and Aunt Jemima had a kid. <laughs> <laughs> all right, wait, wait, wait. Real punchline, real punchline. All right, you you look like Jonah Hill in blackface before the weight loss. <laughs> but then he, he lost weight like three different times, though, so which one? The most recent. It don't matter. You still there, baby. Liz looked like she slapped long johns on her face before she puts them in her mouth. <laughs> You can tell by his t-shirt that he's a big fan of anime. Melvin fell heavy into anime right after he found out that China cured diabetes. Falling heavy into anime is what Liz does when she eats an entire family-sized pizza. Props to you for beating the stereotype and not running out on your kids. I mean, physically you can't, but... You wanted to talk, my nigga. Look at the thighs. Look at the... Uh. Yeah, I lift weights, baby. What are you lifting? Donuts to that face? <laughs> As much pussy as I can get right here, you feel me? You look like you have asthma, but have never been able to spell the word asthma. <laughs> Goddamn. That was good, but can I go? Like, she didn't cut, cut me all off. Get it, baby. Like, she cut me, in line, in, cut me in line at the buffet, and now she don't cut me in line in my roast? Goddamn. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, you look like your street name. She ain't even, even oh. gone, big nigga. <laughs> You pop the shit, let's hear some jokes. Okay, so when I look at Liz, I'm a fat nigga, as y'all can tell. Liz make me real hungry, because this bitch is built like a soft serve ice cream cone. <laughs> all jiggly at the top, and all flat at the motherfucking bottom. You the pot or the kettle in this one, but that's okay, because you look like your breath and your belly button smell the same. <laughs> Liz, I told you that in confidence. Don't tell other people. <laughs> all right. Liz is built like Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Melvin identifies as black first, a man second, and hungry all the time. <laughs> I got it from you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Liz, looks like she dip, Liz looks like she deep throats dill pickles because she can't find a man. So are you think I'm intimidated of a guy that took the phrase, be the bigger person, literally? <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, my turn? Okay. Uh, no, that was, wasn't that your turn? No, no, that was just a comment. Stephanie, I need your help. Why are you moderating? You guys are on your own. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going when on with you? name like Melvin Stewart and titties that big, you're one nose job and a whole bank account for being a Jewish woman. <laughs> Hey, it is 2024. I can identify and be whatever I want, okay? I respect it. I respect Liz has the voice of a bouncer, but simultaneously the body of a woman that could never get into that club. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, bad oh, Come on, Liz. Bad oh, Bad oh, Bad oh. <laughs> All right, God Fat Albert. This is a true story. <laughs> This is a true story. Me and Melvin actually used to work together at Second Street. Melvin was, uh, excuse me, Melvin was fired from Second City for inappropriate comments. I guess he can't control what goes in or out of his mouth. Because he's fat. Liz was fired from Second City for eating all the chicken tenders out the garbage. Just in case. <laughs> free food is free food, baby. <laughs> you, you're not wrong. I fuck with that. I'll eat, I'll eat anything that's free. That's why Liz is on the show tonight. The fuck? <laughs> It's really funny because when Melvin found out he was booked for a roast, he went and grabbed a plate. <laughs> <laughs> Something but about it. Ugh. You do look like that R&B singer Khalid. If he lost his career, gained a bunch of weight, and was forced to impersonate Nick Cannon. <laughs> I don't think they know who Khalid is. Sis. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but you do. That's fine. Uh, uh, Last joke. <laughs> okay, I, got, I think I got one more. What is it? Uh, Liz looks like some Michelin man. If instead of selling tires, this nigga decided to be a plus size model at Walmart. <laughs> Big ups to you for taking my Michelin joke from our last roast. But uh, I didn't know that there was a dining car on the Underground Railroad. <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> God damn. Uh, uh, yeah, James, great, of course. Great, We're uh, going to you first. Great, great. This, this looks like before and after you put a Thanksgiving turkey in the oven. <laughs> oh, my God. You're big. You're both big. Melvin, you're big. You look like the only slave would be picking cotton candy. You're a... Uh... <laughs> like the only slave master that would grow cotton candy, you fat fuck. Damn, bro, you might want to wait until he votes before you throw shots back at him. Liz is, Liz is built like the Tide Pod he never uses. Uh, no, but because I was just racist, I'm going to give it to Melvin. One for Melvin. I'm not going to lie. She fucked you up so bad, I thought you were in family court. Uh, <laughs> look like you have beef just because she's a correctional officer at a place you used to live? <laughs> I gotta give it up for Liz. Liz what? Liz, what it do, girl? How we doing? <laughs> no, Liz looks like a lot of my ex-girlfriends, and so does Melvin. So, uh... <laughs> it's hard to bad bitch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm giving it to Liz. She fucking crushed it. Liz is our winner! Chris Grieco. Yes, visually, this is Melvin versus his greatest weakness. <laughs> Liz, I am giving my vote to you, even though you look like a woman about to deny my papers at a DMV. Great work. Fine. Liz, our winner, but Ian with final thoughts. Does it... Does is the winners is done already? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't matter. Yeah, nah, I, this battle was wild for me because I, I closed my eyes and Melvin, you sound like a white bitch and Liz... <laughs> Liz sound like Melvin. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, Liz, you had the comebacks. You was ready. You ain't even get to the jokes because the comeback was so good. So I gotta give it to Liz. Liz is our winner! Oh, thank you. Really, really super quick. Really super quick. You remember, Chris, the last Rose Battle. That was my first one. This is my second ever Rose Battle. Melvin picked me for both, and you got smacked twice! <laughs> That's great job. Oh, hold on. What can I say? I'm a masochist. I like white women being oh, Somebody give them the light. Oh, my God. 
Wow, what a fun one. Holy shit. That was crazy. Woo, how we feeling, crowd, huh? It's been an amazing round of battles. And we got our final one of the evening coming up. Make some fucking noise, you guys. Are we with us? Come on. You guys, we got coming to the stage a former Rose Battle champion and one of, the, uh, one of our regulars. Please give it up. It's Tito and Courtney Albert. Yes, Courtney. And Tito. All right, fuck you, Tito. Um, who's going first, you two? I will go first. Courtney will go first. All right, Steve, one more time. You were so good at it. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, guys. Give it up for Pirates of the Puerto Ricans. Pirates of the Puerto I love you, Tito. He's the only Hispanic that you're not worried about taking your job. Tito's so broke, one time we went out drinking and then afterwards he wouldn't give me a ride home, but when I called an Uber, he picked me up. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> I was like, I know you're drunk. <laughs> Hell yeah, if, uh, if Courtney looks familiar, it's because she looks like every white woman that's been kicked out of a Target. Uh. <laughs> they said it was on sale. <laughs> She's the captain of the sisterhood of the traveling bangs. Uh, <laughs> she looks like Monica Lewinsky sucked her own dick. Uh, <laughs> Damn, bro. Whatever, dude. You look like you can dance better than you can read. <laughs> time out of your busy schedule of selling crystals to white women. <laughs> you spooky bitch. You look like a crow is about to perch on your shoulder at any moment. <laughs> uh, I don't know your dress size, bitch, but it looks cozy. Uh. <laughs> this bitch look like a stack of pancakes right now. <laughs> you look mission. like a TV anchor if it was just the anchor. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> I know we're being rude. <laughs> uh, Tito majored in Spanish in college. I was like, wait, you, you majored in what you are? <laughs> what did you minor in, being a weird 40-year-old? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, and she majored, uh, she majored in film at Columbia. And back in 2006, she actually went mega viral. I don't know if you caught it. It was uh, her and her friend sharing a cup. Uh, <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> a battle, for, battle for two girls. Tina, you, you look like you still think three-way kisses are cool. <laughs> I do. I do. When Tino hits on tall woman, he goes, damn girl, I want to climb you like the border wall. <laughs> uh, Courtney was born in February, so she's a Pisces, and she uses that as an, ex as an excuse why her pussy smell like that. <laughs> Fishy. <laughs> Hey, 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 she liked it, she liked it. <laughs> 20 bucks is 20 bucks, all right, that's all. <laughs> Tito calls himself a landlord. I'm like, you're just in charge of mowing the lawn. It's called landscape, Tito. <laughs> that's rich coming from someone with Harry Carey glasses. <laughs> Side right. note, Harry Carey is what her husband calls it when she's on top. Uh, <laughs> that's a Harry. <laughs> Would you eat it? I'd eat it. <laughs> Thank you, Eduardo Scissorhands. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Roseanne Barge. <laughs> That's so wow, dude. <laughs> so Let's fucking go. rude. <laughs> Let's go. Tia looks like an art teacher that would volunteer himself as the nude model. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah. Uh, Courtney lived in Wuhan, ironically. Uh, she lived in Wuhan, she was 300 pounds, and the locals called her white whale. Yeah. Not because of the weight, but because she let a whole crew of fishermen get a stab at it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Hoorah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You look like the Richard Simmons of the cartel. <laughs> <laughs> You're just doing workouts in the Home Depot. <laughs> She's something my people would pray to. She's the queen of the Ozempics. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you look like a witch doctor that didn't graduate. <laughs> Bitch. You look like a stepmom that doesn't fit into a laundry mat. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt a little bit. <laughs> you got any more or are we done here? I guess we're done. Yeah? You got we're it? Done. I think we're good. Are you guys good? Yeah. 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 Good morning. Tito. <laughs> Tito actually means uncle. And his last name is Jorda Sid, which means not invited to the quinceanera. <laughs> Courtney puts the bitch in barbiturates. <laughs> she got married and became a real housewife of Beverly's pills. <laughs> All right, give it up for these two, you guys. What a fantastic closing battle. There you go. Oh my God, fantastic way to end the show. Let's hear it. Uh, can we hear it from Bob Keen first? Uh, it's a wild battle, guys. I know both of them are good friends of mine. Uh, that being said, one of you looks like the mom at the Cub Scout meeting that'll give up the pussy. <laughs> and the other one's Courtney. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Tito, old Antonio Transderis looking ass. Uh, <laughs> That was a banger, but I gotta give it up for Tito. Tito won that one. One for Tito. James, let's hear from you. <laughs> this looks like a landlord battling the dude squatting in her apartment. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Courtney, you look like a librarian who only shushes black people. Um, <laughs> it was good. Is Tito your name or just what your mom drank during pregnancy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. This does look like a high school teacher battling her worst student. <laughs> you can do it. You can read. Um, it was Barely. close. It was cl I just I, you were both, your jokes were good. I just like Tito's energy. Let me give it to Tito. I also don't like women. So <laughs> I'm gonna give it to Tito. Two for Tito. Matthew Mitchell. Oh sure, I'll take it. Oh, whoever has the mic. Alright, well I already blew it, but I uh I don't know, this kind of looks like if you ask AI to make a live action Hamburglar and Grimace. I don't know if that's... <laughs> that means I gotta give it to Grimace. I thought Courtney was fucking hilarious. One for Courtney! Chris Grieco, what are we thinking? Yes, Courtney loved the energy like a sassy PTA mom. <laughs> yes, and uh, you, Tito, you look like everything PTA moms fear. <laughs> oh. yeah. I love books. that. Did you, wait, is it true you lived in Wuhan? That is true. It's the only place I've ever been to outside of America. <laughs> wow. Did, <laughs> you did it. Yeah, dude. That It looks like, Tito, you look like the lab leaked out of a Dua Lipa music video. <laughs> um, Courtney, I think, I think you got it on this one. Great work. This is exciting. Ian, you're oh, breaking it. Up. I gotta break the time. I thought y'all was both great. Like y'all, y'all both came out swinging, and y'all both like who you are. Like your energy of like pretending you were offended at the joke was so good. <laughs> your energy. I've been called fat a lot. <laughs> Tito's energy. You look like a nigga who would wear fingerless gloves. So <laughs> everything just fit so perfectly. Yeah. Wow, this was so hard. I just needed one more from you. She had so many. I just I needed got one, one more from you. Oh, no. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. All right. This is a lot. I, I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to put you on the spot. But if you if you got it, cause she she got the battle and you you ain't get it. She she got it like the the whole crowd yell battle battle. So yeah. you need one. 
All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Courtney's racially ambiguous. Yeah, you would never guess by looking at her, but she's actually a quarter black Nigerian and 75% Irish. As in Irish, she would have called it Nigerian when she told me. <laughs> that just made me sound so cool. <laughs> Ian, what are you thinking? <laughs> I, 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 you did very well, too. I got to give it to Courtney. I got to give it to Courtney. She had the, she had the nice...